Welcome to a video from the digitallifes.com. New Windows 11 build to look at. This is 22000.71 for Windows Insiders on the dev channel. And once again, this is a cumulative upgrade. So it means you don't have to install a full build that takes ages, in an hour or whatever. It's just a, a small update that comes down and a single reboot. So it took about 20 minutes, something like that, to get installed. There's a few changes to this build, which I'm going to go through in this video. Um, the first one Microsoft say is there's a new entertainment widget. So this is the the widgets panel. Um, the, it's part of Windows 11. And Microsoft say they've added a new entertainment widget. But I've just got it, I've gone in to add it here, and it's not showing up. Now what the widget's supposed to do is show uh, movie titles available from the Microsoft Store. Um, but I suspect that's because it's I'm in UK and it's probably US only, so that's why I'm not seeing that widget on there. Uh, it would be nice if it was a more generic entertainment that could, you could use it as your Spotify or as your Amazon Movies or whatever. But it, it, according to Microsoft, it's the uh, Microsoft Store, so you know, not a massive uh, deal really. But uh, it would be nice if we'd had that to uh, to show in the video. The other change is the context menus have been upgraded to use the uh, material design. So this is the new look context menu. So it's kind of got that translucency, translucency to it. And um, we've got the extra refresh option that wasn't there before. So that menu has been updated, which I think it look, this looks nice. It looks very much the, the Windows 11 style. The other change is that Microsoft say they're testing out the usability of a split button for making new files and folders. This is the new split button, which has got that sort of split on there like that for creating it. Or you can just hit that and it creates a new folder. Or you can go in there and create a new item. A bit like you could do it before in right click. You know, it's just, sort of that's sort of buried there there now anyway. So yeah, that's that's nice. That's a, a nice change. The other thing uh, they've done is taskbar previews. When you hover over them, you get a sort of a, a more Windows 11 style uh, thumbnail on there. The rest of the changes are mainly fixes. So they fixed an issue um, when you drag icons over the taskbar. Uh, it was making them launch or minimize when you release the icon, and that's that's been fixed. Uh, long presses. We touch on an app icon on the taskbar to open the jump list should now work. So I noticed that. So if, if I was using touch and I sort of long pressed on one of these, it, it would just launch it instead of um, giving you the right click menu. Um, there were some issues with the mouse moving slowly. They've fixed issues with multiple desktops where the appearance wasn't right. They fixed some taskbar issues It would uh, when quick settings was being shown. They fixed some issues with taskbar view icon. They fixed an issue where Explorer might crash after hovering over the task view icon in the taskbar. Um, they fixed some calendar view issues. A lot of views. There's quite a lot of um, changes around or fixes around settings. They made some fixes around settings that would be more responsive when you're moving the, the sliders around. Uh, they fixed some... Um, power and battery saver issues so it wasn't sure that battery saver was enabled when it was uh, they fixed some pen issues and they fixed some task uh, taskbar settings as well um, where it was la labeled incorrectly and they fixed some issues with search and there's multiple widget fixes this is like windows Z when you press that bit and uh, you couldn't navigate through them, you need to tap to go through these. Now you can just do that. So you can do Windows Z and, and pick one of these layouts. I do like this new this new setting as well. So there's a lot of changes. I've got all the full details on the digitallife.com. There's still some known issues. Um, you may not be able to enter text when using search from the start on the taskbar. Um, I don't know whether I've seen that. Um, not with this build anyway. So you start searching if I want to find task manager or something like that. Yeah, this is, this is working okay. Um, if there's still issue with task with the Explorer would crash when you click on the taskbar with notification focus assist turned off um, when you're clicking down here I haven't seen that one yet there's still some settings issues um, PC reset doesn't work in this build so you need to use the uh, system recovery advanced startup to get into that and um, this issues with Turkish language and um, ratings are not available in the store 
So those are the main changes. So really, the the, the main things Marcus was talking about is the widget and the uh, the thumbnails and the new right click or the updated right click menu uh, all these things are nice that they're doing incremental updates and a bit of consistency as well so i think that's how this is going to go with these builds for the next, for a while anyway we're going to get nice little changes to them we're not going to have massive new features because that kind of they're polishing this now getting ready for release so thanks for watching this video if you want to see the full overview of windows 11 i've got videos on our youtube channel and i've also got one on tablet when in tablet pc as well using it in tablet mode or posture as microsoft called it portrait posture so check out that uh, you can get me on twitter at i stixon thanks for watching